There's a, a theme uh, here. Uh, we now have um, uh, ucrelizumab, in, in which has great data that was presented last year. Uh, we have a lot of uh, subgroup analyses that are being presented at this conference, uh, and we anticipate uh, approvals in the very near future. I bring that up because ocrelizumab has uh, clinically significant, statistically significant data in a progressive disease state. We expect that late breaking news, we're going to hear about saponamide. Uh, saponamide, uh, the top line data uh, that was put out just a few weeks ago, suggests that it, we saw an effect in secondary progressive MS. So now we have two uh, disease modifying therapies that look like they're starting to scratch the surface of progression. That's changed the tenor of this meeting. And so you're hearing a lot more about how do we address someone who's in progression, who still has active inflammatory disease. Uh, yesterday there was a very exciting debate. It was called the burning debate. And it looked at a very, very simple question. Should we include patients who are wheelchair bound in clinical trials? You think about my patient population. Someone who has, uh, who has had the disease and progressed to the point where they need assistance device to ambulate may no longer qualify. Now, is that person to be uh, uh, tossed away? Absolutely not. They're viable, wonderful people. They're working, they're loving, they're, they're living life. And they deserve to be looked at and studied. Can we still affect hand function? Yes, we can. Can we still improve um, long-term outcomes for cognition, thinking, memory, et cetera? Yes, we can. And so I think it's, it's ripe to start to discuss how do we incorporate progression into our clinical trial designs, not just looking at walking. That's an arcane old way of thinking about things. But we need to look at hand function. We need to look at other things that are germane to the daily life of an MS patient, independent from where they are in that disease spectrum. And so I think that in part having these drugs discussed brings that to the forefront. It certainly changes uh, my viewpoint um, and makes me more sensitized uh, to paying attention. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, probably the Olympics of multiple sclerosis. Uh, the word on the street is there's almost 9,000 MS uh, clinicians and researchers gathering in London uh, to talk about the latest and greatest. Uh, this is really the highlight of my academic year.